I'm done running. <laughs> this is gonna be fun. Hello everyone and welcome to Action RPG Build Guide Edition. Today I'm ready to drop on you my League Starter for Erica. Not only can this build handle all Tier 7 content, it crushes at Tier 8 maps, and it only costs 80 Flame Elementium. It is the strongest build I've ever made for so cheap. Of course, we're going to cover every facet of this build. Everything is timestamped in the description below. If you need to bounce around, let's not waste any more time and jump right into this. Starting off with some gameplay. Now, the skills I'm going to be using for this build are Thunder Slash, Blink, Bloodthirst, Bull's Rage, and Compound Potion. And obviously, I will show you the breakdown of those skills during that section. Let's do it. This is Tier 7. And as you can see, on the cheap... We should just walk all over this. Main focus is going to be Steep Strike for the build. And as you can see, a couple of hits, every single enemy. Now, a lot of people like using Leap for this build. Uh, you can do that. I am just personally a blinker. I like the way it functions better. It doesn't slow me down, gives me survivability. I just personally like Blink, but you can use the if you want. Pretty quick, right? Let's do a Whisper of Wonder. Quick and easy. Tier 7, Bride of the Void Sea. She's dead pretty quick. So now let's check out the skills for this budget. Erica, starting off with the main damage dealer, Thunder Slash, where you're getting your damage is Steep Strike and Multi Strike. And what you want to do is you want Raging Slash around it, because this is going to give you a big boost to your Steep Strike. This is a lightning skill, so I took added lightning damage. I then took multi strike. Again, big damage comes from multi strike. Electric overload. This is going to give you almost 40% additional lightning damage. And then the big one, critical strike damage increase. This is a crit build. Our base crit is 50% without any buffs whatsoever. And for this build right now, I've got 620% additional crit damage which is just, that's why we're doing this massive damage boost for so cheap. And don't worry, again, I'm gonna show you how to do this. You then want Compound Potion with Residues, Berserk, and Cooldown Reduction. I have Blink with Quick Mobility, Cooldown Reduction, and Periodic Burst. You don't have to use Blink, okay? You can use Leap if you like that movement skill better, but try them both, and I bet you end up using Blink. You then want Blood Thirst, and you want Mania, Extended Duration, Cooldown Reduction, and Pain Amplification. And then last but not least, you want Bull's Rage with Pain Amplification, Extended Duration, Cooldown Reduction, and Mania. Now, just so you know, Bull's Rage is basically going to take 50% of your life when you activate it. I consider it, if you ever played D3, this is going to feel like Archon mode, okay? When you click Bull's Rage, you should immediately have Compound Potion ready to hit so you get that life back and you just turn in to a bull. You just, you turn in to a monster, okay? When you're looking at the passives, I took Fearless, Electric Conversion, Rejuvenation, and Magical Source, okay? And you don't need Magical Source or Rejuvenation, just nice to have your mana pop up quick and your life to pop up quick when you're using these skills that take your life. And Fearless is amazing. It gives you melee skill radius. It gives you crit damage. It gives you crit rating. It is just perfect for this build. And then electronic or electric conversion is going to give you a boost to your base lightning damage. 
I have cast on crit. This is a crit build, so you're critting 50% of the time, if not more. This, you want a level one lightning field because all you're using for this is lucky. Then you take fixate for that double bonus damage. And then, you know, this is a budget build. So right now I don't have restrain. I don't have great mana or mana seal on my gear. So I need to take seal conversion. And then last auto defense with stone skin to get damage absorption. And then again, I need to take seal conversion because I cannot afford it from a mana standpoint. So even though this build is cheap, even though this build does massive damage, believe it or not, it is decently tanky. Those are the skills. Now let's check out the hero traits for Erica. And I want to be as clear as possible. I have tested this so many times. This is unequivocally the best way to run it. At 32, you want to take the top. At 62, you want to take the top. And at 80, you want to take the bottom. If you don't trust me, go to the training dummy, run some tier sevens. You will notice a difference immediately if you are not running it this way. Now, as far as what items we have, as far as our cat travelers log, I've got max life and attack damage. OK, you're going to notice a trend here. I have critical strike damage, max life, critical strike damage, max life. And you guessed it, critical strike damage and max life. So again, this build does crazy damage over 130 million and it is fairly tanky because we took a lot of affixes that are going to give us survivability, mainly life and resistances. These are the hero traits. Now let's check out the talents for this budget. Erica, I am level 94, starting to finally get up there. First thing you want to take is Goddess of Hunting, and this is the first nodes that you are going to be looking at. At level 10, you want to take Paralyzed, and you will notice that my main skill during the last the skill section, I did not take Lightning Penetration. The reason why I didn't take that is because we have Paralyzed right here. Okay. At level 20, you want to take Rushed. This is going to give you movement speed. You notice that I was really fast, and we're moving all the time, so you're going to get an additional 35% damage from Rush. Okay. Moving over to Blade Runner. All right, and I'm going to slowly scroll through. You can see all the nodes. Okay, and right here at the end, you're going to get additional lightning penetration from critical strikes, which you're going to be critting basically the whole time. Okay, scroll back. Blade Runner is extremely important, required for this build. And by the way, if you're over level 94, this is what I'm leveling right now. Max life. At level 18, you want to get transition. It's going to give you a huge boost to crit when you use a lightning skill, which you're using. OK, 75 percent additional critical strike damage. And then right here at 36, you're going to get an additional 55 percent damage from your multi strikes, which you're also going to be doing all the time. Unequivocally, the best Blade Runner. Last but not least, Ranger because this is a crit build. And I'll drag it out a little bit so you can see. Okay, and here we go. One thing I love about Ranger is right here. Critical strikes can eliminate enemies under 8% life. So all those bosses and all those big baddies you gotta fight, you do have a kill threshold with this build. back down and at level 18 you want to take gravity this is going to give you 20 percent additional melee damage and it has reverse knockback so it pulls everybody towards you which is a little quality of life and then at level 36 you want to take impending this is going to give you six percent additional damage for enemies close to you and this can stack up to five times obviously you are a melee hitter so you never have to worry about it. you're always going to have enemies next to you okay those are the talents. Now let's move over to everyone's favorite, which is, of course, gear. And as you can see, I am using no uniques whatsoever. This is a budget Erica. Over 130 million damage at the training dummy. Going to cost you less than 80 FE. OK, I'm going to go through each item individually and you will see what I'm talking about. 
Helmet. Armor. The armor's horrible. Amulet. Amulet's level six. Gloves. Belt. Boots. Ring. Ring. And then the two things I spent some FE on. One-handed axe. And one-handed axe. Okay, and I even kept some receipts for you to prove what I spent. But first, going over to the info screen, resistances, you will see I am maxed in resistances. Our survival is over 105,000. And when you go right here, critical strike chance, 50%. Critical strike damage, 620%. And these are bases. This is with no bonuses or other things added to them. And again, I kept these Bye for you. Help you Let me go over to my catalog. history. The helmet I am wearing cost me seven. And the axes that I am wearing each cost 20. Okay, so 47 just for those three items. And the other ones I picked up from either one to five F. E. This build crushes for so cheap, but imagine what you could do if you actually had endgame gear. Now let's take a look at the terrible pets that I am using. I've never spent a cent on pets. I don't think they do a ton. Maybe they do. I have no idea. I can tell you that my pets are absolutely terrible. Right now I am using the purple Mike Wazowski Violet. It's attack level five. We are using Ball of Thread, this is for survival, level three, and then Traveling Lizard Greenleaf, level one. One, three, and five. My pets are terrible. Honestly, you shouldn't even follow this part of the guide. Use your own pets, whichever is the highest level, attack, or maybe you need to fill in some of your resistances. Just use whatever is the best number that obviously works with the build. Now what we're gonna do so let's go over to the training dummy and see if I could showcase some of this power. Look at that. For ADFE. That's pretty good. All right, everyone, that's the build guide. What do you think of my budget, Erica? Is there something I missed? Is there something I could do to make this even better or maybe even cheaper? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Two asks at the end of this video. Ask number one, I'm hoping today is the day I have earned your subscription. I'm hoping today is the day you make the decision to push that little red button. I would really appreciate it. Really does help the channel as we are starting out 2023. Ask number two, check out my Patreon. Thank you to the first 57 members that have signed up. Become an instant ARPG VIP and get Patreon exclusive content at the first link in the description. Weekly blog post, weekly podcast, access to the VIP lounge so you can chit chat with me every day. Chance to win custom merch, lots of goodies. First link in the description. Eric on a budget. Hopefully you're entertained or at least learn something. Erin, out. <laughs>